Welcome to Avanti's world. Chimicum has access to 28 accounts, and each account can hold up to 35 students. You would get an email like this, click on this link, uh, and then create your account for each class. If you have more than one class, especially if altogether you have more than 35 students, you'd want to create multiple classes to create accounts for all your students. Once you create your account, you will have access to your teacher dashboard where you can manage students and look at student reports. Managing students includes adding your entire class all at once through a batch file, uh, which you can upload, or you can add one student at a time or multiple students at a time and create their accounts. Once you have student accounts, here is what they see. So here's a student account I created to test this, and the student can see that she is uh, in super science land, in progress, and she has started the energy and forces section um, and completed nuclear power plant and nuclear power plant quiz. Now as the teacher, what you can do is go to your teacher dashboard and go to student reports and check in on your students progress. You can click on student progress reports and if you don't see a student you can search for a student and it'll bring up that student's progress and you can see that this student has begun uh, the super science land working on energy and forces. So basically what you and students can see when you go into the park, uh, you have access to engaging earth land, literacy land, showcase land, super science land, and trip through time land. Each land has multiple activities you can see for science, you have plants, animals and habitats, humans and anatomy, and all sorts of other things. So I'm going to go into immunity and response. So you can have their students go here from their dashboard when they log into their accounts, or you can share this QR code with your class, or you can click here to copy a link that you could send to them via Google Classroom or something like that even email. So they get a uh, lesson and a mission objective and they have like right here three phases to complete and they get information before their task. Whenever you see this enter scene with that symbol that means it's a VR scene. So they click on that and they could access this VR room from a desktop computer, a tablet, a phone, uh, any device and if they access it from a phone they could put it in some goggles like Google Cardboard goggles and get a full virtual reality experience meaning that they could turn their head and see inside this cell. From within the cell students can move uh, by using the WASD keys or they can click and uh, get around that way. And then they explore. They can go back here and see what their task is. And once they're done with that task, they move on to the second task, which gives them more information. And then they enter the scene again to complete the second task. Um, and it's pretty cool because they can look around and see what's going on. So it's important that they read this and get uh, an idea of what they have to do because as you can see, nothing is labeled in here. Then they read the third task in this activity and they take a quiz. Really important that they take the quiz because that shows you whether they learned the material or not. 
and then they can move on to the next one on nutrition and food, respiratory system, and so on. So that's one example of one of the lands that comes with this uh, three-year uh, package. And you can explore through the other lands and see if this is something you want to do.